Hi guys, today I'm going to talk about projects versus business as usual. So, the way I brainstorm in exams about this and about most parts of project management is I think of the project management triangle. Cost, quality, time. I also think about um, the project management star that adds risk, people and scope into the mix. So, I'm going to use this as my sort of uh, praxis to think about the differences between projects and just business as usual. So if you think about this as being the difference between project management and business management, because they are subtly different skills, they're very transferable. If you go and work on projects, you can totally manage business things and vice versa. But you will need to add a few little skills to your skill set, and you may find you're better at one than the other because of the way your brain works. So first of all, we'll go through time, cost and quality. Time. Projects are transient. They only take place over a set length of time. And that's probably the big thing that changes the, is the two different things. Business as usual, business management just keeps going for as long as the business is alive. So indefinitely, whereas a project is a set period of time to do a set thing. That's the time element in a nutshell. This will affect a lot of the other bits I'm about to talk about, but it's worth noting right at the beginning of the video. So cost. Projects are most often for a customer. Often they will be funded by that customer in order to, for you to change something, build something or do something. Whereas business as usual is funded by a business in order to do part of their business. And that in turn is funded by whatever that business produces. So the funding may be whatever they produce goes into the business and the business chooses how much funding to give each area of its business. So when I'm talking about business as usual, I'm talking about HR, I'm talking about IT, I'm talking about all those functions within a business that just keep it ticking along and working smoothly. In a project, you will have HR, you will have IT, but the IT will only be needed for that set period of time and there'll be a lot more hiring and then firing at the end. But anyway, back to cost. The cost streams in projects are quite often it's a one-off payment that you need or a one-off sort of you go out find a pile of people to pay you money and it brings you through the projects when you're estimating the costs you also estimate them in a different way because you're only estimating for a set period also because it's unique because a project is unique and different from anything ever done before even if it's just because the project context is slightly different than other projects you have to kind of estimate how much they're going to cost. Whereas business as usual is kind of a very similar cost month on month. You may find at year end that there's a bit more money. You may find that, that you need to spend more money on HR when there's a graduate intake. But generally, the costs will be very similar each month. Whereas a project, you may have peaks, troughs, different phases will cost different amounts of money. And you have to look, look at it in a very different way. And also, the way you report it is different. In business as usual, if you spend loads more money one month, that may not mean that the next month it means you've still got to spend just as much money as you usually do. Whereas on a project, quite often you'll spend more money one month, and the reason is because you've done extra work, more work than you plan, so you don't need to spend as much the next month because all you're doing is you're spending next month's money this month, or vice versa, and it's a different sort of profiling activity and you've got to dig down deeper into it to understand why you're spending your money in whichever time period that you're spending it in within the project. Or it may be that you've just gone over budget. Quality is the third part of our project management iron triangle. Quality on a project is quite hard to judge because it's unique, because it's transient, you've only got a set period of time, you've only really got one chance to get the quality right. You've got to understand your customer's requirements and make sure you're not making the wrong products, you're making it not too high quality and not too lower quality. You've also got to judge what that quality means and what quality means to you as a project manager in that particular project and its context. Whereas business as usual, the quality is same month on month. You know that if you're in the finance department that the work needs to be of a similar quality to last month or you may give yourself targets for it to be better than last month but you have something very similar to judge it against we're on to the project iron star or whatever you want to call it people scope and risk so scope the project scope is basically what does this project contain and you have a very similar thing with business. Um, you, What exactly is it that you're trying to manage and trying to do as your bit of business management that you're doing? 
But with, again, because it's not transient, the business, you keep doing the same thing month on month. And actually your scope may change, but sometimes you may find that actually the reason it's changing is because you're actually doing a project and you're into project management then. Really, if it's business as usual, it shouldn't be changing because if it's changing, then you're doing a project. So on project management, your project scope is what are you actually doing? Some people get it a little bit confused with quality, but it kind of, scope kind of includes everything. It includes the costs, it includes the time. It is the, this is what we're doing as a totality. It includes these things, but these things are out of scope and we're not doing them. Next is people. Now, this is one of my favorite ones. The thing about people is that as business as usual, you have people doing the same job again and again for ages for as long as they stay in the company their jobs may change slightly but business as usual generally you have quite a repetitive job to do because it's repetitive and because the same people are kind of doing similar jobs all the time you don't have to go through like tuckman storming norming performing you don't have to build the team up every time you're doing a thing you all know how to work together and it you know bundles along and hopefully goes well Whereas in projects, you bring together a team of people who may not have worked together before. They've been brought together, again, for this word I really like, transient, for this time period. They come together to do a thing. You have a lot more purpose there because this is the thing you're doing. They may have worked together because I've definitely found as I move around different projects, I, I work with the same people because we're all working on similar projects. But you've still got to re-establish what all the relationships are, where the hierarchy is. And this isn't just the formal hierarchy, it's also just how people work together. Um, so the people is quite different between the two. Obviously some businesses as usual will have a higher turnover so you'll have to keep on sort of changing things and looking at things. And this is another point which I've implied but not mentioned before is business as usual generally doesn't have change. So people and business as usual generally stay the same but people and projects will change and you may bring people in for only short periods of the project in order to do specific roles. Then we have risk. Projects are risky, they are unique and transient, they have new people. All of these bring in risks because you haven't done that specific project before. You don't exactly know how it's going to turn out. So this brings you back to time and cost and all those sort of things. It makes it harder to manage because you have to really try and guess. You have to have risk budgets in there because you know you will not predict exactly what's going to happen because it hasn't been done before. You can give your best estimates, but you don't actually know. You may find it all goes a lot better than you expect. It all depends. So projects need risk budgets, risk contingency time in them, and also with quality you need to carefully manage it because things may change. Whereas with business as usual, because it's repetitive, there's a very low level of risk because you know what's going on, you know how to do it, you just keep going on with it and doing it and getting good at doing that skill. Whereas in project management, and this is something I didn't mention in the people stage, um, you have to do more training. Because people are moving around projects, you may have to do more training in order to bring them up to speed with your specific project. And then you'll, they'll only actually use that training for a few months and then they're on to the next project. Whereas in business as usual, yes, people need to be trained up and they need to keep their skills fresh. But because things aren't changing too much, there isn't that sort of emergent need for training when you bring the team together and then they're dispersing again, so you're losing them. Lastly, and hopefully this is a thread that I've brought through my whole description through it, projects bring change. Business as usual keeps things ticking along nicely, cleanly, efficiently. They are completely different things. If something is changing in your business as usual, think about it, that is probably actually a project and it will have the characteristics of a project. If you have a project which goes on for a very long time, it starts slipping into actually business as usual. When you work on a project that lasts for 30 years, you actually end up with the same people working on it for a decade and it ends up bringing in the characteristics of business as usual because change isn't happening. When you're building a ship, on the shipyard, yes, that's a project, but in the back offices, quite often, you'll have business as usual supporting that project. And this is where you need to be careful. Business as usual will support a project, but if as a function they're not changing, so HR, IT, project controls even sometimes, they are actually business as usual, but supporting a project. So you've got to have that clear definition, and that sometimes I think change is the big thing that you can use to go, is this business as usual or is this a project? Is, are things changing? If they're not, 
possibly it means that you're in business as usual looking after a project or you're just in normal business as usual and again if something feels like business as usual but stuff is changing is that business as usual but with a project being put on it to create change maybe that's organizational change it change whatever it is so what did you think of my definitions of business as usual versus projects do comment below which do you work in do you work in a little bit of both let me know uh, do press a like a subscribe all that jazz and I'll see you next time. Bye!